The question is, why don't we know about Sharia? Understand not everything is meant literally. You need to understand it the way they mean it, but we are not meant to know the Sharia, the fiqh, the law of the law of Islam, which is the final interpretation of the Quran and the Sunnah. The Sunnah is not just the Hadith, it's also the Sirah. All of that taken together, plus the Tafsir, all of that mixed and blended, and the best of those opinions and ideas taken together gives you the Sharia, gives you the fiqh. Sharia, the eternal moral laws of Allah, and the fiqh is the application of that. It is not permissible to give directions and the like to someone who is intending to perpetrate a sin because it is helping another to commit disobedience. So they can never reveal this, any of this Islamic stuff. They cannot reveal it to us because we will use it to insult Islam. They cannot give directions to people who are wrongdoers, okay, for corruption. Corruption technically in Islam means temptation away from Islam, away from the faith. And teaching questions of sacred law to those learning it in bad faith who do not want to become Muslims, but for unworthy purposes. So it is forbidden. This and many other laws that forbid Muslims from revealing the Sharia to non-Muslims. Fitna. They speak of fitna. Remember, fitna is worse than murder, according to the Quran, right? Yes. Fitna is just temptation. According to the Sharia or the fiqh, temptation away from Islam is fitna. Fitna is not corruption as in you do something bad. It's just you're leading Muslims away from Islam and therefore you must be killed. To kill you is better than you leading Muslims away. And of course, let's do one more thing, permissible lying. 